everybody assalamu alaikum um my name is zahid hussein and uh, it's an honor for me to be the mc today our program has three parts today in the first part we have three ambassadors now let's see uh who are those ambassadors in our first part of the program today uh i would like to invite chinu kim lubna and aniza they are the first three ambassadors of our first part please give them a big round of applause welcome them together Oh, so before they enter, because of coronavirus situations, we're having a temperature test and hand sanitizer. So everybody uh, goes safe. Welcome, Mr. Kim Jino. Very Salaam nice alaykum. to see you. Wa alaikum salam. Happy to see you, brother. Wa alaikum salam. Lubna. There you go. Please, Lubna, take your seat. You know, I, I, I saw your video in, in August that you guys made, right? Like the main video that you made. Uh, you guys went to Lotte World in Seoul. Yeah. Wow, Lotte World, people. It's an amazing place. It's, it's like one of the two big theme parks in Korea, like the amusement parks. It's, it's a lot of fun there. I've been to them too, but I watched their video. That was amazing. Um, you know, like, I was very interested in the prayer room. I think there was a musalla in Lotte World, right? Uh, how was your experience in Lotte World? What, did you like the prayer room? Did you go there to pray? Uh, yeah, my year. Uh, first of all, I didn't expect and find a prayer room in the oh, okay. world. Yeah, but uh, first of all, enter the room. Uh -huh. We can wash our body. Uh, we can uh, wash our hand uh -huh. and the mouth. Udu, right? And then can pray easier right. with the friends or with the family. Right, right. So. Right. It was wonderful and then beautiful design. Okay. Yeah, I liked very much. Right, right, right. Yeah, I, I saw that in the video. That was amazing. And I, I would love to go there and, you know, have <laughs> some fun. And then when the prayer time comes in, I go to pray there. And it looks like really amazing. Among the places you have visited during your stay, was there any place that you would like to recommend to you, to all the viewers today? Among of the so places, yeah, I will strongly recommend you Lotte World and then Lotte Tower and then Lotte Tower Mall. So these three famous landmarks is right. uh, stick together in right. the one location. Right, and then right. when I visit the Lotte Tower, yeah. I feel just like visit Bruce Khalifa in Dubai. Oh, and okay, just like okay. Dubai Mall in yeah. Dubai. So without the care about the weather, hot, raining, and right. we can enjoy shopping and then we can enjoy attraction. Right, then, right. There's a cold place, the World Museum, the nearby Taiwan. Right, so the right, World right. Museum is the, we can see in Korea, whole of the history through the war, through the fighting, and then right. many history, and then can enjoy one kind of attraction. So okay. I strongly recommend you World Museum also. All right, perfect. Two places he recommended. Now let's go to Lubna, what she got. For us. Mm, to be honest with you, I like Seoul very much. Why? Because it's combined between the heritage and then uh, uh, modern. modern flair. Right, yeah, right, yeah. right. So I recommend uh, to them two places. Uh, Nansan Tower. Okay. Yeah, it uh, offers very beautiful view. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see whole Seoul city mm -hmm. from the observation deck. True, true. Yeah. Uh, also, I can recommend you Gyeongbokgung Palace. Gyeongbuk Palace. Yeah, All right, it's very near from here. Everybody. <laughs> yeah, because yeah. I am a Korea drama fan. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, I always imagined that someday I wear Hanbok and then go to this kind of majestic place and enjoy. I like to recommend more nature. Uh, nature. Seoul Forest. Okay, and perfect. Uh, the district area near the Seoul Forest and right. then the Hanul Park. Hanul Park. Do you know Hanul Park? Hanul Park? Yes. Uh, near. Park. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Near Seoul Soup, right? No, 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 no. Where is it? Near uh, Hapjong, Hanul Park. Hanul Kongwon? Yes. Okay, Hanul okay, Kongwon. Right, right, right. So, and yeah. And then the Hangang Park. Hangang Park. Yeah. All right. So That's amazing. Nature, 
there. Oh, that's great. Yeah, Han Hangang Park. I have lots of memories yeah, at Hangang Park. It's a very nice place. You can do many stuff there, like ride right. the bicycles. Yeah, bicycles, and then do fishing. The fishing. And crush. Walk, yeah, walk with your loved ones. You know, like <laughs> couples. <laughs> you know, have a great time. Yeah. Can you give any suggestions to? Muslim families who are traveling to Korea because a lot of families travel to Korea and what you guys any tips for them? Okay. Yes, please. Uh, I, first of all, I want them to not worry from the safety of South Korea. Okay. Yeah. Yes. So safety, very safety, and then um, I want to recommend them to not worry from finding halal food. Mm -hmm. They can find it very easily nearby uh, Itaewon area. Right. Yeah, and then also they can find the seafood everywhere, not only in Right, Korea. right, yeah. right, right. And then, for example, me as a housewife, I like cooking, so easily I can find the um, halal ingredients in mm -hmm. Itaewon, for example. Right, right, right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, Itaewon is a place where you can find a lot of halal food. Yeah. I think everywhere in Korea, especially in Seoul, you go, we can find a lot of halal food. Mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, Chino. Oh, uh, you said yobo? Uh, yes, right. Oh, it's so uh, cute. Honey. Oh my Habiba. god, yobo. Habiba. Habiba. Wow. Ah, <laughs> sorom nanda. Habiba. <laughs> okay, I will say as a short reading. Um, some of the Muslim foreigners are afraid if uh, can uh, they can see some of, uh, called Islamophobia. For mm -hmm. example, if Korean people hate us, how should we do? But I want to say to you, uh, my wife didn't experience this. Islamophobia, and then Koreans are now opening their mind right. uh, little by little, right. and then to the foreigner, and then even to the, the Muslims all. So please don't be afraid. Us. Right. Please come to the Korea and then enjoy with us. Welcome back, everybody. Um, I hope you had a great time in the first part of our show today. I have another amazing part coming up for you guys, and it's all about food oh my god i'm hungry already uh, medina <laughs> welcome everybody so amazing to finally meet you guys uh were you looking forward to see me or i was looking forward to only see you guys <laughs> um okay so uh i think they were not looking forward to see me guys i'm so <laughs> sad but that's all right we are going to talk about amazing thing and that is food if you guys want to try like Kore halal korean food i uh, I really recommend. There is an aid restaurant. It's very near restaurant. to uh, Seoul Central Mosque. Seoul Central Mosque yes, in Itaewon. Yes, right, right. Itaewon, right right next to my house. Mm. Oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's lucky. cool. Uh, mm -hmm. Lucky. <laughs> so, <laughs> mm, I've tried their bulgogi and samgyetang as well. Oh, that's awesome. Their samgyetang yeah. was really um, amazing. Actually, I personally like Arab. Cuisine, so Arab food, okay. Yeah, Arab food, so I love to visit like um, Arab restaurants, yeah, like Arabic, yeah, All and right. Petra maybe. Petra. And also and there's Arabic house. Arabic house and Dubai restaurant. Dubai restaurants, yes. yeah. And there are so many halal restaurants, um, not only Korean restaurants, but also there are foreign so many foreign, non-Korean yeah. non restaurants. Non -Korean so if you guys, especially if you guys visit Itaewon, uh, you're gonna find a lot of a lot halal of restaurant, a lot of options. Right, so, right, right. Yes. And you, you like hummus? I love hummus. Oh, she loves hummus. <laughs> uh, in my case, well, as Cherry mentioned, she mentioned some options near Itaewon, right? right. So near the, ma the masjid. But yeah. also, like many tourists, they don't go just to Itaewon. Right. They just be they also visit like in Sadong and these kind of places, right? right so right. I would like to uh, introduce and recommend a restaurant there in. In Sadong, it's uh -huh. called Ose Kiehyang. They sell uh -huh. like um, Korean vegan food vegan and food. is Muslim friendly restaurant. That's great. They that's have awesome. even the certificate, so <laughs> you can oh, go there. That's awesome. Yes, you Kegan can. You Muslim can. Family. Yes, you can try really delicious food as jajangmyeon or mandu. Okay. Oh my god, it's really really delicious. I really recommend that place. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. I would definitely. Medina, any recommendations from you? Oh uh, yeah, I want to shortly introduce Halal Guys restaurant. Everyone knows about oh. it. Yeah, it's located in three places. It's the one. Uh, uh, Honde, Gangnam. So it's really like fast food. You can say right. it's about sandwiches and pla platters. Yes. With uh, yes. basmati rice and chicken. So, and it's not expensive. All right. So that's amazing <laughs> that you guys introduced amazing places. But now let's go to 
uh, the, the places where our viewers chose and voted for, wow. for the Korean type of food they would like to eat when they come to Korea. If you want to get the gift, <laughs> yes, please, Nancy. Kimbap? Kimbap! Let me ask my genie. Ooh! Oh. Ooh! <laughs> okay! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she got it! Ooh! Oh my god, that's, that's amazing! <laughs> kimbap! There you go! Nancy, could you please show our viewers the kimbap picture, the beautiful kimbap picture? And could you please talk about kimbap to our viewers if you if you um, know about it? Yes, uh, you know, it's actually like rice. Um, yeah. They have like some vegetables mm -hmm. or meat inside. You can choose like the flavor you want. Yep. So you can choose like beef, even chicken, like, um, like uh, other things or just vegetables. And outside you have the seaweed. Seaweed. Yes. yes. And they put like um, sesame oil on the top to give a special taste. Well, it's really delicious. I actually love kimbap true, 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 because yeah. it's like one of the cheapest food. Right, <laughs> As right. A student, yeah. It's a really good option. Also, it's like you can find in almost any place. Right, even convenience stores. Yes, yeah. it's really, really cheap. And I consider it healthy. I don't know if it's healthy, but yeah, I consider it yeah, as, I as healthy, healthy food. I really, really love this one. Yeah. And also, like, you can uh, eat with, like, soy sauce and right, those things. Right. Mm, really good option. Oh, nice. Have you ever tried one kimbap? Do you know what one kimbap I is? I think it's one big one. Like yes, the oh. big kimbap is called one kimbap. So that's really delicious. When you put it in your mouth, you cannot even, like, you know, have the entire oh. kimbap in your mouth. That's really big. That's amazing. Thank you, Nancy. And she got the right answer, and we're going to give her a gift later. Yay! So 15% of people, our viewers, voted for kimbap. And jajangmyeon, 17% uh, of people oh. voted for jajangmyeon. Our viewers are commenting a lot. One Abdul Hadi is saying kimchi is very healthy and yes, it's true. But I, I want to give a recommendation or an advice. Uh -huh. I think when we foreigners try kimchi by the first time, you have to be really open-minded because maybe the first time you will not like it because it's, it's just... A different flavor is is something new, really new. Right, so right, right. The first right, right. time you will be like shocked, uh -huh. maybe. But if you try, you will just fall in love with the kimchi, and will right. be a, a time in your life where you just want to eat kimchi every day, every day. And yeah. yes, your health will improve. I can I can tell you that is one hundred percent sure. True, true, true. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Kimchi is a very healthy food. It it helps us uh, stay fit and stay healthy. And guys, there's a there's a tip. There's a tip for anybody, a Muslim, coming to Korea. Wherever you go, even if it is not a halal restaurant place, uh, choose one of these food uh, that we recommended today and say, the first thing that a Muslim learns when they come to Korea is, you know, other foreigners learn when they go to Dongdaemun, we, we deal for, we, we make negotiations for the price, right? So, kakajuseyo, <gasps> they, they learn from this, kakajuseyo. But Muslims learn from what? So we just go anywhere. This is our magic line. We say kogi pejuse. But don't stop at kogi. Say kogi, ham, and bacon kaje pejuse. When I mean most of the places they don't think bacon and ham is a kogi. So they put it in and they give it. Exactly, Spain. So yeah, this is the magic line for all the Muslims who are coming to Korea. You go wherever, you say uh kogi pejuse and you are gonna be in safe hands, alright? So here is the end of our second part oh. of the program. We talked a lot about food and we are hungry. So yes. have an amazing yeah. dinner, everybody. Oh. And thank you for coming. It was amazing talking to you. Please say hi to our viewers. Uh, thank you. Thank you. The topic for the third part is, yes, I know you know it already. It's K-pop, of course. In our first show today, we were talking about tourist places the attractive tourist places in Korea. BTS being a global star group, they have recommended some places in Seoul for our viewers and for our visitors to visit. Let's see what kind of places they recommended. Uh, number one, there are uh, six options they recommended. Number one is Gyeongbok Palace. All right, Gyeongbok Palace. Um, that is the first uh top most place uh in seoul uh, that they recommended for our for our visitors and for our viewers Gyeongbok palace you all know uh, was the place where the royals korean kings lived uh in the recent past right so that was really famous and 
it, why BTS chose it as the first option is because it got really famous after BTS performed mm -hmm. in front of Gyeongbuk Palace, a song. So it got really famous. And number two, it's a very interesting place. Noryangjin Wholesale Fisheries. Oh man, this is interesting. You know, Noryangjin uh, Fish Market, uh, in easy words you call it, yeah. you can have any kind of fish if you want to eat fresh hue, like raw fish. The best place for raw fish in Seoul, right? Oh, yeah. uh, have you ever been there? Yeah. Yeah. Not, right, ever. Not yet, right? Yeah. I've been there, it's amazing. Uh, uh, Noryangjin is an amazing place. And then the third place is Toksu Palace. Oh. Toksu Gung, right? That's another place where uh, this place is uh, famous because Korean unique traditional style and Western style are fused in that place and, 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 and it became a new heritage, very harmonized properly and it became a new heritage. Number four is Namsan Gok Hanok Village. Hanok, today we are in a Hanok Village, it's Pukchon Hanok Village. But Namsan Gok Hanok Village is also very beautiful, very traditional. You should definitely visit there because BTS recommended people. So it should be an amazing place. Um, and the number five is Namdaemun Market. We call it Namdaemun Shijang, uh, which is located in the south of the Castle Gates that protect Seoul. Castle Gates. There are four Castle Gates in Seoul that was made by one of the kings to protect the main area of Seoul. And the number six is the street food of Myeongdong, right? So BTS recommended street food of Myeongdong. Amazing place, lots of foreigners. Lots of foreigners from different countries. Amazing street food, exactly shopping, a lot of, lot of shopping places. Amazing street food also. Like I think the most famous one there is tteokbokki, right? And then chicken skewers and hot dog. Any yeah, place? Someone is recommending Seoul Forest. And Seoul I think forest. it's a very good recommendation. Oh, nice. That's amazing. Yeah, Seoul mm -hmm. Soup. That's what we call oh, Song Sudong. Yeah. It's, 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 it's not that far. It's a very quiet place, very green place. Mm. A, the best place for picnics. Oh, a very, very true. nice place for picnics, right? And lots of amazing cafes and restaurants nearby. Who was who recommended? Can you tell the ID? Uh, her name was Shada. Shada, right. thank you, Shada, for the mm. amazing recommendation. Thank you. Oh, yeah, there whoever. is one. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Iksandong. Iksandong. Yes, I really oh. love that place. Oh yeah, of yeah. course. That's also a very nice place. Could you please tell a little bit about Iksandong? Iksandong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's like, uh, it's similar with Insadong, I guess, mm -hmm. but then it has like lots of cafes and street. Oh, not street foods, like Korean food as well, but it's mm -hmm. more like fashion food, so oh, that more okay. young. Young Koreans people. and young, like, you know, uh, foreigners, foreigners go there and okay. it's like a hot place. Um, amazing places. Thank you for your recommendations. Thank you for your recommendations. And thank you, BTS, for your recommendations. <laughs> um, so this brings us to the end of our show today. Thank you, everybody, for watching us. Before I end, uh, I would like to say Seoul is one of the best places in the world, I think. It is one of the best places in the world. You know, I've been living here for almost 12 years. I live one year somewhere else, but 12 years. Every year I fall in more and more love with the city. I go deeper and deeper. So after Corona, I am expecting people to have different type of traveling. People used to travel around the world for one week, for five days, for 10 days, but now we can work from home. So you can come to Korea for a month and work from home, <laughs> work from here. See more of Korea because in one week or 10 days, you might not be able to see everything and to experience everything. So if you have a chance, if your company allows you to work from home, travel to Korea, sit in Seoul somewhere, in the Hanok village, in a cafe, work from here, you will love your work and you will love Seoul and you will love your life. That's my promise for you guys. Thank you very much for joining us and I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in Seoul after COVID-19. All right. Thank you very much once again, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Assalamu alaikum.